everybody, it's Christine, and this is episode four of Scrapbook Sketches 103, where I'm using the same sketch all month long, and it's the third time I've done it, so thus the 103. Today's is going to be using the new Howdy collection from Simple Stories, which is super appropriate because I am out west, and in fact, in the same town as Simple Stories as I'm recording this voiceover. Um, obviously, I recorded the video still at home, but that said, let's dig into this layout. So I am very, very, very loosely following the sketch. Um, <laughs> you will see that comes to be true, but I did start with it. So I want, I want that to be obvious. So first off, the sketch calls for two pictures. I wanted to include four. So what I did is I cut my pictures down into really thin vertical pictures because I the pictures were a lot of space around the picture itself and so turning them into four vertical ones that were really thin created a really unique look. I am backing each of those with a different patterned paper from this collection and these ones specifically are pretty solid in color. Um, I went for a red one, an orange one, a yellow one, and a blue one. Now, my inspiration for this layout came from one of the bits and pieces pieces within this collection, which was a wanted sign. Um, as I was looking at the different elements in it, I was inspired by that and I decided to kind of create a silly layout. So what I'm doing right now is I am taking this map paper and you can see I cut out some triangle notches in it to make it look distressed and I just eyeballed those. I didn't do anything like there was no measuring. I just kind of started cutting um, and then I'm putting them on to this brown wood grain paper that is from the Color Vibe collection. Um, th that, those wood grains have really become a staple in my collection work. I use those constantly. Um, and it was a perfect background and made it look like a wanted sign. Now, this is, I mean, this is where I'm straying away from the sketch, but I do have the layers behind it and I do have the photos strewn across the layout in a similar fashion. So you can see some similarities, but you can also definitely see where I got away from it. Now, as I mentioned, I'm going to use four pictures. A minute ago, you saw that I had five. I'm actually going to pull one of those out because I just don't think it's necessary. Um, what I am going to actually be doing is creating a wanted sign about my son when he was seven. And he loves to throw rocks. Um, throws them into any body of water that he gets a chance to throw them into. He doesn't like to throw them at like people or houses or anything crazy like that. <laughs> but he loves to, if we are near a river or a creek or a lake and there are rocks and we say you can throw them, he's all in. And he will stand there literally for an hour just throwing rocks if he's given the chance to. So these are pictures of him last year, actually during lockdown. I took him out to a river at one point and just let him throw rocks. And so I've got pictures of both his face where he's looking at the camera kind of in a mischievous way. But then I also have pictures of him throwing the rocks where he is sort of looking at the camera and sort of looking away and he looks like he's up to no good. So I thought it would be really fun to use those pictures, um, kind of a lineup photo shoot if you will, um, looking like, you know, the ones where they put people like committing a crime onto a poster and then, and then the, it kind of had that feel to it in a lighthearted way. <laughs> and so I rolled with that. Now I'm going to use the wanted puffy, or I'm sorry, the wanted foam sticker. Um, those foam stickers always come with big pieces that are great for titles. And so I really wanted to use, I really wanted to use the wanted one. <laughs> um, and so I am using that and I put wanted up top and then I put rock throwing fugitive across the bottom. And for the rock throwing fugitive, I used both the um, alphabet sticker books and the foam alphas. Um, and I use the navy blue one. And I will try and link you up to all of those down below. Um, 
but you can see I created a really big title. Now I stayed true to the sketch on where my title went. That much I did do. Um, I'm also going to pull in some washi tape because I want to look at make it look like it's taped up or pinned up and I couldn't really figure out a great way to recreate a pin look uh, with what I was was what I had on hand. So I decided the washi would be good. And this is just a, another way to bring in some bright red as well. Now, if you're looking at it right now and saying, well, but it doesn't look like a 12 by 12 layout. That's because at this point it is not, and that will be happening shortly. I'm going to expand it out, but I wanted to create the rectangular shape of the sign first. Um, and so I am doing all that and then I will do turn it into a 12 by 12 layout really towards the end here. Now I'm going to work in some um, foam stars and just some other little elements in. Um, now this again, I did actually stay true to the sketch pretty much um, working in some embellishing on the bottom left hand side and the upper right hand side and again i just love those foam stickers um so glad they added those to their product line because i use them pretty much on everything i do <laughs> pretty much every simple stories project has foam stickers on it so now i'm playing with just trying to see what else i want to work into there i've got a lot going on already and i don't want the layout to be too busy so i'm definitely like just playing to see if I want more chipboard, more stickers, what do I want, and what will not take away from the silliness of the layout and keep it focused on the fun story that I am trying to tell. So I have to tell you that in the end, this layout ends up being one of my favorite layouts maybe ever that I created. For sure, it's one of them that I smiled the most while I was creating. Uh, once the idea hit me to do a wanted sign, I just had so much fun with this one. And it's not that I don't normally have fun, but you know how sometimes when you're doing something, it just makes you smile. Um, this was one of those times where I just so thoroughly enjoyed creating this layout and telling this silly story. And I don't know, it just, I loved it. So um, that's a little insider secret for you on this layout and how much fun I had doing it. So now you see I'm adding it onto cardstock and I'm going to cut off just the end of that red paper, which would be a great paper on its own. Um, but I'm going to use it just for the border here and tuck it in and you can see then how it all comes together. That red really brings the whole layout together and I am gonna just finish things off here. So in addition to the story behind this, this collection also contains raccoons and foxes, which happen to be my younger son and my third son's favorite animals. And so I was excited about that. And so I decided to go ahead and include the raccoon at the bottom because we literally call this son our little raccoon because we say he's really sweet but he can turn on you in an instant. <laughs> um, and he loves, it's his favorite animal too. So um, we love to call him that. He loves to be called that. And so it was just a perfect addition to add on to the layout. And then you can see I'm also adding on some of those little rope stickers. Um, lots of just little details. Now, one thing you will notice is that on the right hand side, I do have some journaling. I ended up deciding that I like the layout look better without that on there. So I pulled it off and stuck it onto the back. So if you see the final picture and you're like, wait, that wasn't on there. That's where it went. Um, I really literally didn't decide to pull it off until I went down and photographed my project and realized uh, it's a little busier than I want it to be. So there you have it, the new Howdy collection from Simple Stories, brand new, coming into stores. If it's not there already, it will be really soon. Thanks so much for stopping by today. Be sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, and we will see you again next time.